Hey guys, we are back today with another, what I'm now going to call sex ed for adults video. And we're gonna be talking about exploring your fantasies. Obviously, of course, we're doing this with Beducated because that's what I do all of these fun, cool videos with and I will have more on them later. I don't know what it is with this video specifically, but it is really starting to feel like summer and I'm in the best mood about it ever. So hopefully you guys have a snack and you're in a good mood. And if you're not, hopefully you're in a better mood after this video, but let's talk Talk about fantasies. So first of all, how do you discover what you're into, what your fantasies are? And I feel like this is just a lot of self-discovery either through porn or if you're like a lot of us, a weird thing that you saw on TV when you were a kid. I personally remember watching a show where a character got tied up because they were kidnapped and they got caught and I, instead of being like, ah, oh, was like, hmm. Or even your own experiences. Like I've had sexual experiences where something new was tried and I could not get that out of my head afterwards. Like I would just think about it nonstop and it became part of my sexual repertoire. So if you're wanting to discover what your fantasies are, I think a really good place to start is like, what was your best sexual memory or experience? Like if you're sitting there and you're fantasizing late at night, or if you're gravitating to one kind of erotica or porn, or if you're going back to a sexual memory, what's the thing that you're stuck on? Is it the environment? Is it the outfit, the role play? Is it the situation? Is it a group of people? Like what's the aspect that you're kind of stuck on? Like for me, I tend to be more into dominant stuff. That's kind of the common thread through all of my fantasies is just something that's a little bit more dominant. And I explain that to people as, I'm a very type A in control person of my life, of every aspect of my life. So it's nice when in certain situations with certain people that I have a level of trust with, for that to be taken away for a time. For me not to be in control of that one aspect of my life. But yours could be totally different. Maybe you got a massage and that really turned you on. Just somebody like worshiping your body or even just like the sensual touch or even just the fact that this wasn't gonna be sexual but you were the main focus. So what is the thing that's the center of your fantasy? For me, it's not being in control of something. And fantasies don't always have to be something that you really, really want to experience in real life. Some of them are just to stay in your head. And some of them are things that maybe you would want to try, but then you do try it and you're like, mm, never mind, that's a head fantasy. And that's okay. As long as you and everyone else involved are safe, sane, consensual, legal adults, it's fine. And of course, so many of these tips have come from Beducated, which is a sponsor of today's video, and I will link them down below. But if you don't know what Beducated is, it's basically also sex ed for adults. They've got all of these videos from experts in their field, hundreds upon hundreds of them on things like sex and relationships, blowjobs, hand jobs, fantasies. And it's a really safe way to explore and up your sex life in the safety and comfort of your own home. It's also an incredibly inclusive space. And I also have a coupon code that I will have down below. It gives you 40% off a yearly pass as well as one day free. So you can try everything with no money commitment and they have a money back guarantee. I will have everything linked down below and let's get on with more tips. Let's go back to your pretend fantasy of massage, right? So if you want to enact this with a partner, because obviously we're not going to go to a massage parlor and be like, hey, I have this thing. You're gonna do this in the comfort and safety of your home with somebody who is also consenting to this fantasy, right? We're gonna talk about the boundaries and the fantasy and this in itself can be incredibly hot, this communication with your partner that you want to involve in this because you're opening up to them in a way that's very personal, something that turns you on, which is an incredibly like intimate moment. And this is why I think finding the common thread for your fantasy and linking it to other things is really important because when you're communicating what you want to your partner saying, I have a massage fantasy, they could just be like, okay, we're gonna massage them and then we're gonna bang. But if it's more about like the sensuality and the calming music and the dark environment and your relaxation and it's kind of the whole thing versus like, yeah, I rubbed your shoulders and then we were banging, you're not gonna get as much out of it if you don't communicate that. 
And then obviously we can play up the environment. So if that is your thing, you're gonna be laying on your bed, there's gonna be candles burning, massage music. You're gonna come in and undress to your comfort level. And they're gonna hopefully look up some videos to actually give you a good massage because there's no point in enjoying a fantasy like this and then just getting like, you know how some people just have no idea how to rub your back and they're basically just stabbing you with their thumbs and you're like, this hurts. Just show them a quick video on like a technique on how to not make this really uncomfortable for everybody involved. I think also it's really nice in a fantasy to add anticipation and build up that tension. So we're actually going to massage or in my personal sex life, we're actually going to be teasing and not give in to what I want right away. I think part of what makes a fantasy so hot is that you are violating these societal or your own personal taboos. The idea of giving up control or the idea of getting a massage and then getting like absolutely ravished. There's something that like this wouldn't happen day to day and there's something that's hot about that when you're sharing it with somebody that you really trust. And then there's also the power play and the trust aspect and you can have a fantasy that you share with somebody and it can be a fuck buddy, somebody that you don't know for sure, but I have found it so much more intimate and the fantasies are so much hotter and the sex itself is so much hotter when it's with somebody that you really trust because you can share like the intricacies of this. I have trust in you as well that you're going to respect my boundaries and that you're going to be paying attention to my body language and that you're going to be checking in the same way that I would respect that if you shared a fantasy with me that we were going to do. And really for me, once you have your fantasy and you know the aspects of it that really turn you on and you share that with your partner, it's really just up to the two of you to decide what you're both comfortable in doing. If your fantasy is over here and their comfort level is over here, if there's a way to alter your fantasy in a way that makes them comfortable so you can meet in the middle, then amazing. Because sometimes you can discover something that's even better that fits the two of you. And honestly, at the end of the day, sex is supposed to be fun. And this is a fun way to keep things fresh, whether it's role playing, whether it's like, we're gonna try sex in a hotel or out camping or in a secluded location, or we're gonna just try a bunch of weird positions, or we're gonna do like something that's a little rougher, or we're gonna integrate toys, like whatever your fantasy is that you wanna share with a partner, amazing. It's just about communication and trust as with everything else having to do with sex and sexuality and relationships, really. If you want even more tips, make sure that you check out Beducated. They have a course all on fantasies and I got a ton of stuff from this video in that course. I will have them linked down below with the coupon code to save you guys a bunch of money and I will see you all very soon. Let me know what else you want to hear about for next month's Beducated video and I will see you later. Bye guys.